Google just dropped something big. And if you're into AI, productivity, or building tools without touching code, you're going to want to pay attention. It's called Opal, a brand new experimental platform that lets you build and share AI powered mini apps using nothing but name using nothing but natural language and a visual editor. No coding, no complicated setup, just describe what you want your app to do and Opal brings it to life. Right now, it's in its public beta for the US only, so if you're the type who loves to get in early and shape the future of a tool, this might be your moment. Greetings and welcome back to another video. My name is Dilo Brands and this channel is all about non-technical AI walkthroughs. And today, like you heard in the intro, we are visiting Opal. So Opal is basically, I'm guessing, you know how Firebase Studio is building full stack apps? This is more for mini apps. So let's say you are in the finance industry and you wanted to create a mini app that was going to track data in a specific way or display it. Then maybe this is how we are going to go from building out our websites completely in these vibe coding IDEs instead and just embedding these mini apps instead. So, and I like that this gives a way for non-technical users to build out workflows really easily, see what they can do and prevent people from going directly to chatbots to get things done. Now you can embed this app on your website, get people to use the functions very, very quickly, especially for repeatable actions. Now, what I will say is that before you can use this platform, you will need to enable a setting on your business profile. So if you have early access apps turned off, you are going to need to turn those on. And all you do is go to this place right here after you log in and it'll take you directly to where you need to go. Just change the off to on. So when you get on Opal, this is the screen that you will see very clean. And if you scroll down, you have a gallery that has many different examples for you to choose from. So transform your photo into a video of a claymation character. I'm pretty sure this is using, you know, VO and stuff like that, whisk, stuff like that. Or maybe this whole entire platform is built on whisk, but we are going to try out this business profiler. And basically what we see here is an editor and then the app. All of these apps have a pretty streamlined look and over here, we're going to be doing this with nodes. So basically at each step, think of this as like a form. You're getting user input. You're utilizing that user input to get more information and then using that more information to summarize it and basically give the output that you're looking for. So if we were to uh, try this out, let's say Walmart, Walmart and it's going to research Walmart. It is going to get everything that it needs and then finish off with a summary. And Walmart is really, really easy. This is just an example. So it's begun to summarize. And I think because this is a, a larger company with much more data, it probably, yeah, that's crazy. So it can't do Walmart. That's crazy. So let's, let's do a, a local business. Um, Let's do the views agency. We're going to do my company. We're going to do the views agency LLC. We're going to say the views agency LLC research, the business summarize. Okay. We're going to, we're going to try one more time with the actual website. This is crazy. So we're going to do the views agency.com slash home. And we're just going to put that in there go to the website, read it, summarize it. All right. Boom. So it, um, brought up the views agency. I'm not so sure this is my company, but it definitely brought up the views agency. And this is basically how the apps are going to work. You're going to have a user input or whatever you'll have. Uh, we can go to a different one. Let's do the social media post creator. So in this one, basically what you have is user input for a business URL and also user input for what the post is for. Um, at the same time, it's going to use that business URL to get more information about it. And also you have a user input to start off with an image, add an image you'd like to start. So I'm not really sure what the point of that note is, but I guess we'll, we'll go through it. And then you have creating the caption, creating the expressive text, 
and making the new image, the final image, and putting the image and the caption together for you to be able to uh, utilize. So if we go to the app, let's click start. Let's go to viewsagency.com slash home. We are going to say promotion for digital design services. Go ahead, add an image. So we're gonna add an image. I'm, I'm just gonna add, I'm going to add this images, this image of my services, and it's gonna come up with the business summary, research the business type, identify products and services, basically following the prompt that's inside of the actual nodes. And we'll deep dive into the nodes to let you see exactly how those are going. And we will also create one. Uh, so you can see that process. So it's making the new image. And finally, we will get an output of an image in addition to text. So this is the image that I input. Now, it did not change everything on here, but it changed some of the things. So let's say you have an unfinished image and you wanted, or you just had a background. If you had a background and you wanted this bot to put something on that background. Like I wouldn't be mad at using this image. I would just remove my logo and remove, you know, the text down here. And that would be a, a usable image. So if you have a good image to start off with, maybe it can uh, not do so much work and you do more of the work, but that is how the social media post app would work. And you have the caption down here. So you can just, you know, go ahead and post it. Now, if we go to the editor, we see that each node has instructions. So this isn't like a, you know, you just tell this node to do this thing. You have to give it instructions as well. And so we're going to see in the example that we create, which uh, we are going to create a LinkedIn outreach kind of uh, summarizer type of app. And this is the interface that you have when you're creating a new, a new app. You can either do it node by node have a user input with a generate, then get an output and connect all of them. Or you can uh, delete all of these and just type down here in this dialogue what you want. So we're gonna say, I want to create a LinkedIn outreach researcher app that takes in a LinkedIn URL, researches, the prospect and generates a personalized email and image to send to the prospect. So this is a way that you know you can do research. Let's play it, uh, press go and see what it gives us. And now we see that very quickly it has generated our app. So let's give it a name up here. We're gonna say LinkedIn researcher. And boom, we have our user input node, which is of course the LinkedIn profile URL that we would like to use. It's gonna take that and go to it, get the contents, extract professional information. Now these instructions, it generated completely on its own. So, so it gives us step-by-step, -step, uh, a goal, an output. And I think this is very, very powerful because it's kind of, you know, one prompt to AI agent, which is very cool. So then it has more um, instructions on every single node, got a personal email. And if we see both of these are connected, so then the output will be the personalized email and personalized image. So bam, it's gonna generate all of these things for us. It's gonna generate the image prompt. It's gonna extract the, the information. It's gonna do all that. So let's go ahead and test this app. And what we're gonna do is use my LinkedIn. If you would like to connect, definitely connect. I post stuff on here sometimes. So let's copy the URL, go back to this, input the URL, see what, it, see what it can find out about David. You know, extract professional, generate personalized email. And sometimes this these apps are gonna go faster or slower, depending on what they're doing. Sometimes they do get errors, like we saw well, actually, I, I recorded a part of this before and I wasn't my mic was muted. So in that part, I actually got two errors on researching two different companies. So it's going to generate the personalized outreach page. 
And let's let's see what it gives us. I'm excited. I'm excited. And bam. Subject exploring potential synergies. I'm reaching out to explore potential areas of mu mutual interest. Now, we do not have any personalized personalization in here at all. I'm not sure what happened. Whether information not available, information not available. Okay. All fetching methods returned bad results. Anti-robot challenges. Okay, so basically LinkedIn doesn't like robots coming on their platform. So we're going to change this to a YouTube URL. We're going to change this. We're going to change this to a YouTube URL. So go to the step YouTube URL. Enter your YouTube channel. Okay, I think we need to create a new bot for this. We need to create a new bot for this because it's going to still say get LinkedIn stuff. So... We're going to create a new one that's for YouTube instead of LinkedIn. And this is going to be our example. I want to create a YouTube prospect bot with the goal of learning about a potential YouTuber and offering them a collaboration with my graphic design company. Let's just say that. I want to input a URL you then it should gather information about the channel and read video and read vi video titles and transcripts to create a personalized image and draft email to them okay so basically what we're going to do here is exactly what we did with the LinkedIn one but we are going to do it on YouTube instead. So input a YouTube channel. It looks at the channel, everything about it, information, whatever, finds anything that it needs to and goes ahead and creates a prospect form. So really the same thing that we just saw. Created the instructions, just going to generate everything. So bam, let's go to the app. Uh, let's name the app YouTube Prospector. Prospector prospector let's press start we're gonna say youtube.com slash at the low brands make sure you are subscribed and we're gonna press go so it's gonna research the channel including reviews mentions and articles or social media discussions extract the channel information is generating the image prompt now and the email and now we should get a output and it's going very fast like this is going very fast compared to you know some some AI agent uses, but I'm not sure that this is a uh, pro pro thinks flash doesn't think and 2.0 definitely doesn't think so. All right, boom. So elevating the visual brand of D -Lo brands. I'm reaching out as a graphic designer and digital marketing and housing press weather in a competitive landscape online, the universal power of compelling. Okay. So yeah, this email is trash. So basically if you wanted to really hone these in, you would have to hone in the instructions and make sure that they are really getting information from them and using it. Our expertise lies in this. I would be keen to discuss how Taylor could benefit at Dio Brand specifically, even without. Yeah, it, it didn't really come up with a good. But you guys can see the kind of process that this app is in telling. It's basically agentic work without too much, you know. Too much friction like you don't have to do too much and this is being generated with imagine four we have vo inside of here so we can do videos we have audio lm which all of these are experiments from google so we have two point of uh, two point five pro flash i mean two point five pro and um deep research plan and execute so everything is definitely here but if you did learn something new in this video Definitely click the link in the description and check out Opal. I think it's a cool tool. Uh, right now, I've been using Firebase Studio for tons of projects and really learning about that. So I'm going to do an updated video on really deep dive, maybe like a two hour long video about it. But uh, make sure you are subscribed. Turn on post notifications because we are going to ramp it up and be sure to get the AI for SMBs guide this is going to be your ultimate guide to learn exactly what ai tools are actually feasible right now and how to use them in the best way possible uh, low friction setup 
templates, uh, workflow sequences, everything that you can think of is in there. Templates uh, for video generation and image generation and text generation and agent prompt. So be sure to grab your copy and that will be in the description as well. But this has been d -Lo Brands from AIducate and I will see you in the next video. Peace.